Hey everyone, um, I wanted to do a review on this Be A Luscious palette that I said I would do a review on for you guys. Um, first, a couple of caveats. I was sent this for free, um, but that's not to say that all the opinions expressed in this video are not my own, because they are. You know I'm opinionated and I will tell the truth. I think that um, people that have a problem with this on YouTube, I think it's a bit futile, really. Um, I will express my opinion whether it is good or bad. Um, that said, I would not review something for you guys that I would not genuinely think that I would stand behind as a product. Um, I also think that to give a a good review of something I didn't like would compromise, compromise both my integrity and the, the integrity of the company. Um, so with that said, I would like to review this product. This is the Be Luscious Garden Girl palette, which was sent to me by Coco Bow. And this is what it looks like inside. Sorry, it's a bit messy. I've been playing with it quite a lot. So you can see you get 16 eyeshadows and you get 4 blushes and 2 lip products just down the bottom here. Um, the first concern with this product is the packaging. Um, the packaging is, I'll compare it to a MAC palette actually, um, just in case you wanted to see the size. This is a MAC palette in front and this is the palette behind. Um, now. Given that the, the eyeshadow pans are 26mm eyeshadow pans, which are exactly the same size as MAC uses, I think that this palette actually does comprise of a lot of stuff in a small amount of space. It is very slimline, and um, it is quite lightweight, um, but as I said, the thing that concerns me is the packaging in that it's it's quite coastal scentsy, scentsy, yeah, it's quite coastal scentsy to me, it's, it's just a black palette with um a sticker on the front, uh, but the name on the front. And um, the other thing that concerns me is that there are a lot of powder products in this eyeshadow pa in this palette, not eyeshadow palette. Um, and there are two lip products here, which are obviously cream-based products. Now mine have started to attract um, a bit of unwanted attention from the eyeshadow powders that just kind of blow on there. Um, and Yes, so that is a bit of a problem for me. However, um, it is slimline and it does have quite a lot of stuff in it, so those are good points about the packaging. Um, the other thing that you need to note is that there are 16 eyeshadows in this palette, and uh, I have done some maths, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, the pr I worked out the price of buying 16 Pro Mac pans, not even the pots. Um, I think it came to about £144. Now the price of this palette is 6 to 7 50 which would make you bulk, I, I bulked. I think the price is very expensive, especially to spend on one item. Um, but then I compared it in terms of Mac, pa uh, Mac Pro Pans, and I mean, you get 16 eyeshadows in here for £67. So in that sense it does work out in cost, it's just a lot of money to spend at once. I know if you buy a MAC Pro Pan you probably wouldn't buy 16 of them in the same sitting, um, but that is something to bear in mind. And the other thing to bear in mind is that, well, why am I comparing these products in... Why am I comparing these products to MAC products, I should say? Um, that's because they are really on a par in quality. Um, I was actually really surprised and floored by the really great quality of these eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to actually move on to the eyeshadows now. Um, with the eyeshadows you get a few different finishes. You get a, a finish called a polychromatic finish and that is kind of like a star flash. It's very very soft, very creamy, very pigmented, very nice to use. A similar finish is a mineral shadow which is the same kind of idea, very very soft, very pigmented and easy to use, but it is, um, it's just got different ingredients. Um, the matte shadow, there is one, which is this orange here, um, I really like the matte actually, it's very matte without being chalky, um, it's, it's a good matte, it's very soft and very pigmented. Um, there is well, let's see, there are there is one more finish and that is the dimensional shadow. These are my least favourite of the whole palette. And they are these kind of shades. They are the kind of matte feel shades, but they have glitter and shimmer in them. 
and for me I found them really a bit difficult to blend actually um the glitter didn't translate to the eyelid as well especially this one which looks like a fabulous you know midnight blue um it has lovely blue glitter in it but it doesn't translate to the eyelid so I was a bit disappointed with those I mean they're lovely colours but they did take some work um in terms of how they wear they wear actually very well they wear equally to MAC shadows um all day really I used them in the same way as I use MAC shadows with bare study paint pot or with a paint pot of any kind and it worked just fine um I'd give you some swatches actually to give you an idea of pigmentation I'll take my favorite one which is bullet sunlight is not working my favor to take you see that silver there that is bullet it is exactly the same as max um, pro pigment in platinum which if you've seen it you all know it is the most beautiful pigment ever um, there are oh there is one more finished eyeshadow which I've forgotten to mention it's the sheer satin eyeshadow which is essentially the same as the other eyeshadows it's just a bit less pigmented um, another eyeshadow I'll show you I'll show you this bright orange one because it's marvellous um, and let's see let's get a purple in there just swatched it on the same finger so sorry if you can see all that orange um, so yeah the eyeshadows are very pigmented very soft um, I do have a little problem with the colour selection in that for me when I opened this palette I was a bit scared because they're are a hell of a lot of bright colours on there, they are a bit scary. Um, for me, I was immediately thinking, oh, where are my neutrals? Um, so, in terms of variety, yes, there's a lot of variety in colour, but in terms of tone, I would like a little bit of a, a little bit of a little bit of brown, maybe. There is one brown, which is more, more of a khaki shade, but I would like a couple of neutral colours to go on the lid just to balance it out. Um, so I'll move on to the blushes, um, you get four, now you get one called Natural Beauty which is this very subtle one here, you get Rosebud, these two are mattes, and then you get these ones which look like Mars Orgasm, so you've got Coral Sun and Sparkling Rose, this one is pretty much a, a good dupe, it is very good. The blushes do wear the same as an average blush I would say. Um, I do find these very very pigmented and very easy to use, they're very very soft, however um, I do f event <laughs> I did have a problem with this brush blush in the beginning because I didn't actually know what I was supposed to be using it for and then I, I used it on my skin and realised that it's a natural blush so it's not meant to look like you've got blush but you've got a little bit of a flush it's very very nice the color selection I do really like because they've got a matte pink which is great for that kind of English rose um, complexion which fits in with the whole theme of the palette and the other blushes I really like as well I really like this blush in particular because it is a dupe for Nars Orgasm but it's easier to work with because my or my NARS orgasm is actually quite a hard blush and I find it quite hard to get a lot of pigmentation out of it whereas these I find easier because they are very very soft um, but they do wear you know an average amount of time for a blush to wear not all day blush never lasts all day on me really um, unless it's one of those makeup forever blushes but they do last quite a good amount of time um, in terms of the lip products we've got two here we've got um, this is Micro Tickled Pink, I think. This is Micro Flamingo, but I'm just going to call them Tickled Pink and Flamingo. Now, Flamingo I really like because it's a fuchsia, but it's kind of a scary fuchsia. Um, but it does it's not actually that scary on. It's kind of like one of those Barbie kind of colours. And the light pink, again, is they're quite Barbie colours, which I wouldn't have expected to see in this um, in this kind of colourway. However, um, I do find that they wear an average amount of time. Certainly no no shorter than a MAC lipstick, you know. Um, for a, They're kind of a luster feel, so you know, you, you get that kind of sheer colour which you can build up. Um, they are quite creamy, they're not drying. Um, I don't really like the bubblegum pink, but I have learned to use it uh, to tone the, the bright pink down, so I mean that is a useful colour but for me I don't think the bubblegum pink is for everyone 
And so in terms of what I think about this palette, because I'm running out of time, I think that it's a sound buy. Um, I've had a really, really great experience with the company. The company of um, Rhea in particular, she has been really great at answering my questions and just been really, really friendly. And I think that they really do pride themselves on doing business well. Um, they are a, quite a small company, as I believe at the moment, and this palette is six ten fifty. The only thing I ha do have to say is that the price is a lot of money to spend on something at once, but you are getting a lot of bang for your buck. Um, it is very travel friendly, and for me, the only con is the packaging. Um, the rest of it, I mean, had I not seen it before, I don't know if I would have bought it necessarily bought it for the website. But now that I've seen it in person, I've tested it. I, I would say that I would definitely think that this is an excellent product to buy. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. See you later.